Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Scorpio, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Scorpio and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here once again. And Scorpio, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Scorpio newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, your mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Scorpio, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A. This is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the three of swords in reverse. Somebody wants to heal things. Somebody wants to heal this broken heart of yours, it seems, or vice versa. Uh, from one end, I do see one person's totally given up. They feel, ah, my person's just a control freak. They never open up. They lie. They are emotionally unavailable to me. Mm, the other person, the other person is making some kind of a choice or a decision, maybe to lower their defenses now. I could be wrong. I'm going to clarify these cards. Let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, Scorpio, what that would be, and then we'll do the clarification. So Scorpio and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what could that be? Scorpio and their person. Scorpio and their person spirit. Scorpio and their person. Scorpio and their person spirit. One more, please. Scorpio. Oops, okay, got it. All right, thank you. I'm going to take a few more Scorpio from another deck. And while I shuffle these cards, uh, well, let me uh, inform you that if any of you guys want a private reading with me, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Scorpio and their person spirit. Scorpio and that person. Okay. And just a few more from a third deck as well. Scorpio and that person. Scorpio and that person's spirit. Oops, it's too many. Scorpio and that person. Okay. Good to go, Scorpio. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I struggle with love and expressing it. It just does not come easy to me. That's what one person was saying, right? My person is very emotionally closed off and they're, not, they're just very cold and very, you know. So yeah, why struggle with love and expressing it? It doesn't come easy to me. I do talk about you. I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I stalk you. Wow. I want to impress you. I'm shutting you out. Okay, one person is talking, the other person shutting the other person out, but they're still talking. Okay, next one says, I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. I developed these traits to protect myself. I feared you were more obsessed with me rather than in love. It just felt suffocating sometimes. Trying to gather up the courage to get in contact with you. Shame on me. I put others before you. Soon after, I realized they were of no value to me. You will always have a special place in my heart, 
nobody else can fill. I fear that you'll never look at me the same again. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. My God, this card is such a repeating card. Out of so many, I think 300 cards, this card just keeps popping up for quite a few of the sun signs. So this could be a common collective thing where I think uh, the one partner is feeling, well, what did I do? You know, I mean, you, will you ever see me in that same light where you were loving and, you know, trusted me? I've broken that trust now. Okay, so let's start your reading, Scorpio. Let's start with an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels have for this read as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Scorpio. And the card you get here, Scorpio, says, Child. Somebody, well, this could be a new beginning. With or without this person, I don't know. But it's time to look at life with fresh new eyes. Excitement of a child. This could be a new beginning for some of you. So Spirit, uh, let's start with person A's energy. Why are in their feelings they have the Ten of Swords in reverse? What does that mean? Ten of Swords in their feelings in reverse. Okay, something blew up between the two of you. You guys had a tower moment. Uh, okay, one more. Yeah, I think something blew up the, in this connection. Uh, I have a Queen of Cups here on person A's end. Maybe this person was very loving, kind, intuitive. But after, after I think whatever happened here with this tower, Mm, I think I think pers this person, per the Queen of Cups, person A, I feel, was uh, sad for a long time. They were really sad at you know how things ever worked out between the two of you, but now they could be healing. They've kind of given up. I don't want to be. At least I'm not in a situation now where I have to be in conflict all the time. I'm tired of the fights, the conflict. In fact, I've accepted the ending now. In fact, I'm at that verge when I'm healing myself. I'm pulling out those swords one by one from my back. My, they feel that person was a bit of a narcissist, a bit of a controller a freak. King of swords in reverse may, may have lied or may could have been cold or detached. And uh, yeah, so this kind of didn't work out, right? Uh, King of Swords in reverse. I think person A um, kind of chose themselves, decided to put a lid on that cup of love, maybe go into a bit of self-love, get pull them up, pull, pull themselves out of uh, confusion, and uh, concentrate on healing themselves. So what happened, person A? How come you made a decision like that? Five of Cups in reverse. So, see, they were sitting in this Five of Cups for a long time, right? Initially, maybe looking at the past, being in, you know, just feeling the sadness of how things never worked out. In the recent past, I think person A, the Queen of Cups, has uh, refilled their own cup. No longer, you know, hurting so much over this tower that happened between the two of you. Uh, maybe getting out of uh, this sadness now the regret and the sorrow not wasting any more time five of cups in reverse what happened person a five of cups in reverse yeah they they, they decided to stop communication or stop even the thought of uh, moving forward for a new beginning with person b saying hey i don't want to repeat what i've already the lesson that i've already learned uh, i think person a always yeah, this is almost like saying I want new love in my life. I'm into self-love. I still have the love, but I'm saving it. I'm saving it for me. I'm saving it for maybe somebody who's worthy of my time. Uh, because this particular connection never made person A feel victorious or they were always made to feel not good enough. There was no sense of victory that person A felt in this connection. Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Something, I think that intuition could have told them something which made person A finally realize that this was just a lesson and I have to stop stressing and worrying or no more, let's not have any more sleepless nights about, you know, what didn't work out. And I think person A got unstuck. They got, they got themselves unstuck from uh, a situation which never made them feel happy or victorious. So how do you see the connection now, person A? 
how do you see your person how do you see this connection the world card in reverse what's the world card in reverse okay okay person a has made a choice made a decision maybe they if they had been in limbo not moving on i think person a has made a definitive choice now not to repeat another lesson another chapter in the same kind of cycle they are realizing that this never worked out in the past it's not going to work out now right am i right person a what's the three of pentacles in reverse yeah person a says now nah, you're right omkara taro uh, i felt disrespected in this connection it was going nowhere there was no feeling of you know abundance or growth or i didn't feel respected or grounded uh, i didn't feel good i i mean this never worked out for me and i'm not i've made a choice a firm decision i do not want to repeat another cycle of the same at least that's how person a is feeling at the moment uh, what action they're going to take finally i'll open later scorpio let's go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b you have the 9 of wands in reverse what's that all about 9 of wands in reverse okay they're feeling it they're feeling it they're feeling that uh, their person doesn't want them any more they feel that person a has given up on them they feel uh, they've exhausted person a to an extent where person a has is tired they're exhausted they're tired yes they're recognizing that person a doesn't feel very safe with them or very secure with them they know they've probably disrespected person a and the thought of that well is putting them into a bit of depression now they feel the choice has already been made by person a uh, two of pen swords in reverse two of swords in reverse two of swords in reverse spirit yeah even though even though they feel person a has made that choice i don't think person b really wants to end this connection with person a they still are trying to figure out how to work this out i don't want things to change omkara i know they do, they've made the choice not to be with me but i really don't want things to change between us i don't want this complete ending and i am thinking of what i can do to put work in am i right person b yeah they don't want this chapter to shut down they don't they this person b does want another go around they do want another go around okay so person b what happened in the recent past that you know you've made a decision that you don't want this shut down and you've recognized why person a is shutting down well person b says omkara taro in the recent past i've had a lot of time to think you know i've 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 seen things from their perspective now and i recognize that yes i did deplete person a i did keep taking from them and i never gave them any anything back in return so hanged man what happened what what how did you come to this realization and they are, they are accepting it they are accepting it yes i was a narcissist i was cold i was detached i was rude i was mean i did uh, create a lot of conflicts and fights so this person is actually looking at themselves in the mirror no wonder this card came out earlier right i fear that you'll never look at me the same it's hard to look at myself in the mirror so this person has been reflecting on their own bad bad uh, well habits or behavior uh queen of cups in reverse queen of cups in reverse yeah they're sad they're very sad now the sun doesn't shine in their life they miss the love that person a used to give them they're feeling the lack of the warmth and love the queen of cups used to give them they're still hoping though they're still hoping to change it around they're still waiting that maybe in time i can change it around i can may work on this connection i can have you know um uh, a commitment but at the moment they're realizing that uh, the queen of cups has moved on okay so how do you see this connection now person b how do you see your person how do you feel about the connection 10 of cups in reverse person b feels that they've lost a happily ever after now things are totally stagnant in their life they are not experiencing that joy happiness but they still do want to take action they do want to take action absolutely by hook or by crook 
by hook or by crook this person wants to take action even if they have to do something sneaky to get it right so i'm are you right i'm i'm, I'm is this correct person b yeah but they're not sure they're not sure whether they'll be able to manifest this they're scared that they've lost the best thing in their life the best best counterpart their soulmate they they fear they've already lost this connection for good as much as they want to take action as much as this person would love to take action they because of you know the stagnation which has happened in this connection now they are they are afraid that i may not be able to manifest it back they do want to show up though as well will you take me back now i'm bigger and better i'm ready to take responsibility i'm ready to do everything i never did in the past king of pentacles king of pentacles king of pentacles oh. okay but they know what they've done they know what they've done they know that all their past was going to catch up to them even if they tried even if they tried to come forward as somebody responsible now their past is going to catch up with them and uh, they fear that their person ha will block them out or refuse them has maybe already dropped them and actually walked away uh this is like a little too late or what's it called too little too late yeah it's like that kind of feeling i'm getting so let's see what actions you guys will take anyway towards each other i'm going to take another deck for this one scorpio and while i shuffle these cards may i please request you if you could just tap that little like button for me it really helps the videos to circulate and yes it does make me feel very very happy thank you so much so person a what's the action from your end towards person b or otherwise eight of swords my god this person gets stressed uh even thinking of what action am <laughs> they should take why is the eight of swords in action person a why is the eight of swords in action why is the eight of swords in action towards person b hierophant 10 of pentacles Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This person wants commitment. They want a happily ever after, but they want it with a partner who's going to give them equal give and take. So maybe their past experience with person B has not been that that great. When they do think of that, it puts them to in a little bit of a bind to say. Oh my god what should i do what should i do will this person be the correct person for me or maybe it's time for me to move towards new love they feel i've already been there done that it hasn't worked out so maybe and but this is what i want that's what person a says i want commitment i want somebody who's be my equal partner i want something to last a long haul but going back gives me stress because it didn't work out is a time to find it with somebody new now that i've healed myself now that i've pulled out all these three swords and these ten swords which my person put in my back and my heart now that i've healed do i want to take that chance or take that risk to trust them again so person b let's come to your action what's the action that you're planning to take towards person a or otherwise four of pentacles they're still holding on to that dream i feel let's see why is that four of pentacles in action why is the four of pentacles in action from your end six of wands 10 of cups and the empress person b is still holding on to that hope i'm sorry to say person a they want a new beginning with you they're still holding on to this dream they want to communicate they want to move this forward they still envision this 10 of cups hoping wishing i can get this 10 of cups back with person a because they can't find anyone like you i'm sorry to say well i'm happy to say actually they can't find anyone who can match your energy of being the empress they know person a is the queen above all queens so they will try and communicate or at least keep communication alive hoping that in time you know person a will forgive them or see them as 
you know somebody who's going to be responsible now uh, it's going to stress out person a because they they are not sure so there is a new beginning coming person a for you you can choose to go back or move forward there is because you are the empress now you will have that option you can choose person b definitely wants a return all right so that's all i have for you scorpio till next time then love and light take care namaste